So buddies, welcome back to more of Death Stranding. Uh, thank you buddies so much for all the support you've been dropping in this series and we're just about to continue with our laptop last time so I don't want to waste much of this intro guys. Enough talking, let's play this bud. One more cargo left, right? Look at this, no batteries, no BBs and my bridges boots got a bit wearing off right now. I don't know what to say now but what a journey I have in here. Well, the real plan is to include this path heading to the biologist way station in the previous video, but the fact that we face BD battle twice, I don't have any choice but to cut it out, but at least I can still follow my standard daily minutes for this series. The 40 minutes at least. Alright. I think no need for me to wait for another time, Paul. Man, I could have estimated that one correctly. Can't afford to fight another BD here. Alright, finally. We got four containers now. Um, where are the other crystals? I battled two beaters here. I should be getting two batches of cow crystals, man. Call them, bud. Oh, there it is. Anyways, let me just pick this cow crystal first, then we're good to go now. I think I haven't left any stuff in here. This could be the last one, then. I'm good to go now. Man, this has been my 12th session playing this game and each session I played usually takes 4 to 5 hours of playtime. Well that includes those one time that I didn't include in the series like delivering some standard orders, building out the roads, putting up some zip lines and even hunting some bees for some crystals here but I mean um, we had a lot of things to do in this game but even though we're going to finish the main story feels like the deliveries are never ending here. That's why I noticed and that's what I did. <laughs> Anyways, looks like we're good to go now. Wait a minute, buddy. Let me just check for the map. Oh man. It is still way too far. I hope I can make it. I can't build any structures in here. No generators, no zip lines, nothing. Quite a big challenge here, but... Well, I got some spare power skeleton with me, but... It's also low in battery in which I forgot to charge before heading this way. Just really hope, man, I can still manage heading up here since... The biologist way station seems like on top of the mountain. As you can see, checking on the map. Anyways, uh... This could be a long journey, but... See you there, guys. Alright buddies, finally we are here. What a journey guys, if you only knew. Away from recording where I cut up the scene. I'm having a hard time climbing up in here since my skeleton stuff is kind of bit, uh, battery is kind of bit wearing off and I can't proceed man. The cargo taking a toll of me and I keep on sliding down and I don't know what to do. So what I did is that I kind of wait for the sunlight to charge my battery at least. And luckily I was able to charge somehow. I may be able to go up in here safe and sound but Anyways, let me just make this delivery first. Man, I'm pretty sure we got a lot of damage in here. I don't expect an S rating here, but to be honest with speaking, here we go, but... Safe and secure. You do not disappoint, my friend. Oh my god, eighty-five percent damage. The fifth one is uh zero percent damage, of course. Oh my god, I still got an S rating here. Well that was weird. Anyways, I'll accept the one. Connect me to the chiral network. That's where my studies will truly begin.
All right, finally, new trying established. Nice. Problem is, I can't rest inside a private room in this way station. I hope we can find some safe house here. A green launcher. Okay. Well, that was nice. Thank you. It goes without saying, but I am convinced that the tar is related to the BTs and the Death Stranding. After all, both it and Timefall are the defining features of the post-stranding ecosystem. Sudden environmental changes such as these invariably lead to the extinction of organisms that fail to adapt. Those that do adapt do so by virtue of enhancers, the regions of DNA that grant successful organisms their advantages. These genetic factors are the key to evolution, but there are genes which have the opposite effect, those which disadvantage organisms. Extinction factors, as they have been called. These are the seeds of advancement and obsolescence. Such factors may lie dormant within us all, a choice waiting to be made. For every being since the advent of life itself. If so, then ancient proof may hide deep within the tar, evidence of these genetic decisions that may aid us in navigating our current crossroads. In any event, thanks to you, I can now study the composition of the tar in greater detail. I'll make sure to share any interesting results with you later. Well done, Sam. You furthered our research into the Death Stranding in ways you cannot imagine. Thank you again for bringing me Mama's body, as well as that Ammonite. Speaking of which, my analysis of its umbilical cord is proceeding apace. I've been comparing the data against some of our restored archives. Anyway, would you mind returning to my lab? Preparations are finally complete for the chiral relay integration. If you could collect the necessary materials for the restoration work and bring them here, I would be most grateful. Good work. All right, uh, we got a lot of stuff to do in here, man. First and foremost, I need to fabricate some stuffs. A green launcher, hold on, bud. Fires grenades whose effects are triggered on impact. Can be loaded with four types of ammo, anti beta hematic rounds. Okay. Let me bring one. Just uh, for an example, buddy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Not a one. I need to fabricate, please. Wait a minute, buddy. I had to pick one, right? So here's what I'm going to do. Let me just uh, fabricate a lot of hematic grenades level 2 in here. Just in case we're about to face another BD area. Uh, let me have a bowler gun. And then... I need some non-lethal rifle too. At least um, one is enough. Because I think we're about to cross again that mule camp heading back here. Let me have another bridges boots too. Power skeleton, um, man, I just need to recharge all of those, right? Hold on, but one ladder, um, climbing anchors, I got plenty of it. So this is the problem now. I can't fabricate a level 2 PCC here. Anyways, hold on, but let me just confirm this one first. Can I recycle this one for now? Nope. We still can't. Let me just rearrange it first, but I got plenty of stuff in here. Matter grenades, blood bags. Let me confirm this one first, but so here's the thing: deliver lost cargo. Let me just deliver this one first here. Gotta just entrust this to another player. Twenty-four percent damage. <laughs> All right, uh, hold on, but let me just arrange my stuffs here. Chemicals, bullet gun, all-terrain skeleton. Four percent damage. Okay. Hold on, but let me just recycle some stuffs. Wait a minute, buddy. Chemicals. Um. This one too. 
Not this one, man. Let me confirm this one. Alright, call him bird. Next thing to do, um let me equip this one. Hold on. What is happening? Why I need to wait a minute, but attach a boot clip. Replace No. Footwear. <laughs> I kind of missed the part earlier. Let me just carry this one on my back. Got a bullet gun, got a non lethal rifle, um, green and launcher. One ladder. Just gonna double check her first, buddy. I got plenty of climbing anchors, so I think I need to recycle this too. So I can at least fabricate at least level 2 PCC here. It's going to take time, man. Come on, where are you going, buddy? Climbing anchors, container repair spray. I think I need to recycle this one too since it's almost done. Okay, we good? Here we go, bud. Let us see if we can fabricate. Still, man, I can't. Let me just have um, one blood bag then. Anyways. I think we're good now. Everything is here. Let me confirm. Gonna take some orders here. Roboticist, um, geologist. Do we have something here headed to Hartman? Oh, we got this one. Let me have this one then. Since we're heading back there, right? Why not? So we good? Time to go now. Thank you for your comfort. 30 minutes? Okay. Um, generator please. Hold on, bud. Fucking man. Oh no. This is not good. No generators. I think I need to build one. Oh, I got no choice about it. Alright, got a level lax for that. Let me just put a generator somewhere here. I think no need for me to put up a zip line for now. I think this will do. Here we go. God, I need to wait for this one, but wait a minute, buddy. It's going to take time. Not even a safe house, buddy. Oh, man. What have we got here is a time fall shelter. The safe house got a bit really far, but it's along the way headed to Hartman, so I think it's okay. I think no need for me to head back in here since I can simply climb somewhere here. Only thing is that we're about to face a storm, pretty sure. <laughs> It's a pretty battery. Never hide. Let me just recharge it first. I think I need to change my skeleton. Let me activate this. There you go. Off you go now, but just gotta need to be careful in here. What the hell with these ladders, man? I don't think this is necessary. They just kind of be blocking the way then. Who the fuck did this? 
<laughs> so disgusting, man. Anyways, it's kind of really bad that I can put up any zip line here. Well, I'm pretty sure away from recording, I'll be doing a lot of stuff in here, man. Once I finish the session and gotta be done with all of this uh, mission cargoes, gotta be doing a lot of uh, standard orders and putting up a lot of zip lines. I kind of chose not to include all of those in my videos since um, it kind of feels like not really much of an interesting stuff to put up something since all I got to do is just talk while I'm doing that one if I'll be including that one in the recording and not much connected to, you know, not much connected to the mission story. But anyways, that's my plan so at least you know it but just gonna go up in here. I still can't forget the battle against uh, two beaties, but that is the first time that I encountered twice in one area. Man, that was really something. Oh shit! Careful, buddy. Oh come on! Not cool. Wait a minute, buddy. I got some cargos here, right? At least zero percent damage. I'm kind of worried at the time. We are getting near. I hope this can keep up. Let me just go first to that uh, safe house over there. Gotta need the rest of this. I can recover my loot. Well, buddy, imagine myself uh, heading back to Hartman's lab and facing another BD battle here. That would be really something, man. <laughs> well, at least we got a bunch of Carol crystals too. That's an advantage point for that. Well, but if you're watching this video right now, up to this point, I uh, really can't thank you enough for watching this gameplay, man. Which just really means a lot to me. And as a small time gaming creator, someone who watches my video at least half of it really makes me happy, but more happier if you are enjoying my series as well. Monetization is just a bonus, bud, and I made you guys entertained with what I'm happily doing. Anyways, um, we got another music in here, rolling over from Low Roar, but just heading to the safe house. Let me just go inside here first. Oh, uh, hold on, but I kind of forgot we got a delivery here and it got some time limit. What I'm afraid of is that if I'm going to rest in a private room, the might, uh, Wait a minute, buddy. I'm kind of hesitating right now, man. Honestly. Garage. Um, can of fabricate some trike in here. Oh, we can borrow some of these stuffs. So why not? Let me have this one then. Thank you for this one, but she got to be really helpful, man. You know, um, it's been a while since I used a truck in this game. Just got used to using some zip lines since. It makes my travel more faster, man, and unless I will be finishing on building up rows in here, it might be the right time to use back the truck, or even a trike. Oh, I kind of forgot at the same time we got the music in here, so see you there, but... Oh, man. Shit. Be the area. Not cool. I need to head down in here. I better go on foot. Um, problem, buddy. Problem. Probably at the same time, my BB can't detect this one since he's kind of a bit down right now, and it's all because of me. <laughs> Some kind of a conscience in my part right now. Five minutes have gone by. Only 30 minutes time limit, so I can't afford to fight some BDs here. Hold on, bud. Man, we're so far, man. Let me just go this way then. We've got a generator over there. I think it's cool to use the one first. Wait a minute. We got a crystal here. Can I pick this one up?
Easy now. Well, man, I don't know if uh, using up a floating carrier in here is kind of be useful too. I'm just not really been a big fan of that one. Kind of prefer on walking here or just using some trike rather than riding on a floating carrier. Anyways, uh, time for shelter, nice. But I can't use that since we got a time limit in here. There's a zip line that I made. Problem is I can't put up a zip line here. I don't have any PCCs with me. Yep, I don't have one. Man. That was go down. Time will pass when you use a time for shelter. Passing the time in this manner may adversely affect your evaluation for time sensitive deliveries. Time sensitive deliveries. So be careful. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, buddy. But I'm okay. Don't worry, I won't be using that. Anyways, we're getting near, but that was a tough journey. To be honest with speaking, and I don't know if it's safe to go down. I think so. <laughs> We're doing good so far. Likes awarded to Troll Place Cairn. Am I reading the one correctly? Power container ruin, power skeleton, um, oxygen mask. What to do, but the snow has been really ruining my stuff in here. And can't do anything about it. Let me just rush my way down in here then. I think nothing to worry, man. I don't have much of a cargo with me. I can't be easily stumbled. Finally, but we are finally here. Just gonna need to be careful. Uh, let me use this rope first. Heading down now, but easy now. Well, I don't know if we got some private room inside Hartman's lab. I am not really sure, though. I think we're good. Finally. Nice and easy, but here we go. Delivering cargo. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. Alright, zero percent damage, nice. At least. A lightning blue. Okay, got another color here. Nice. Thank you for your continued support. Good work. New order available. Now what? Please access. Please, man, private room. Unfortunately, I don't have. Okay, standard orders. Um, I think I need to go to Hartman, right? Let me just check on him first. I'm gonna be worried my BB right now, to be honest with speaking, but. Thank you, Sam. In reclaiming our past, we've uncovered a number of vital clues. Don't worry, I just got back. 
We have time. When you met with Mama, you experienced a strong antigen antibody reaction, correct? There was a BT in the room. There was, but something else may have been causing it. I've discovered large quantities of chiral matter in Mama as well. Not just the usual kind that collects on our skin or on our suits. It's in all her cells. Cells that are no longer active. The BT you encountered there was special. It was her child, but also her own soul. Somehow, her car and half failed to separate. They must have remained connected through the umbilical cord. It's the only explanation. Is that why I didn't get a bruise where she touched me? Yes, and there's more. 10 seconds to cardiac arrest. I modified the log times. Headquarters will have no record of what we say. Look, a message from Dead Man. It came with the umbilical cord. Sam, uh, I'm sorry. You deserve to know what you were carrying. But I couldn't risk Die Hardman finding out about the case. So I had no choice but to keep it off the books. You've got to keep this between us. We still don't know if the director can be trusted. The umbilical cord was taken from Bridget Strand. I removed it in secret. The cord wasn't attached to a fetus. It was outside her body. She asked me to take care of it. Said it was the key to unlocking the death stranding. But she insisted that I never tell the director. The court shows no sign of decomposition or necrotization. Almost as if it's frozen in time. I thought Hartman might be able to make sense of it. So I had it hidden with your cargo at Mountain Knot City. Dead Man's observations were accurate. It's just like Mama's corpse. What do you mean? I mean, they share a very unique property. Both contain large amounts of Corellium in their cells. In other words, the President's cord was somehow connected to the beach, and that allowed it to escape the flow of time. I've put together the bones of a theory. It's patchy, but worth sharing, I think. Life on Earth has been rocked by many extinctions, great and small, including the Big Five. And if you examine the Earth's strata, its history, if you will, you'll find Corellium deposits that can be dated to each. What if the manifestation of, uh, of beaches and other associated phenomena correspond to extinction-level events? You mean? Yes. Our death stranding could just be the latest of many. The records and research you helped us to recover strongly suggest that we are in the middle of the sixth extinction. Sixth extinction? Come on. You know what this is, yes? A frozen mammoth from 10,000 years ago. Correct. And this? The Iceman from our five 5,300 years ago. They both have the same umbilical cords. Ugh. Bullshit. Humor me. What if the mammoth and the Iceman weren't frozen? You're saying time stopped for them just like it did for Mama? Hmm. Unfortunately, all these specimens were lost in the Death Stranding, so there's no way to examine the genuine articles. But some fragments of data did survive. With the aid of the chiral network, we may be able to piece together something more concrete using Evodevo tech. All right, how's this? A dinosaur from 65 and a half million years ago. Umbilical cord, not decomposed. 
Uh-uh. Only mammals have umbilical cords. Mm -mm. No. Only mammals have umbilical cords used for childbirth. This is something else. Call it a strand from the um, other side. I propose that mammalian umbilici are a sort of mimesis of the strand that then evolved over time. We shouldn't assume that everything about a death stranding is detrimental to life. Trilobites, ammonites, dinosaurs, the mammoth, the iceman, all preserved as if frozen in time, all without exception bound with strands, which is to say that all may have been connected to the beach. And this, when viewed in the context of the extinction entity, EE theory, leads me to surmise that organisms with strands are in fact extinction entities. You see, Sam, EEs are connected to the beach via their strands. And it is through this connection that they somehow bring about a death stranding. So you're saying Bridget was an extinction entity? It's far too soon to say anything for certain. And since you burned her body, we may never know. Higgs said Amelie's an EE, that she doesn't have dooms like the rest of us. Sam, think. Assume that President Strand was an EE. Isn't it possible that her daughter is too? At the very least, Higgs may hope as much now that the president is unavailable. So he kidnaps her for E powers or whatever to cause a mass extinction. Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps not. I doubt a single EE is powerful enough to cause a death stranding, assuming Amelie is an EE. Well, Higgs sure thinks she's got what it takes. Indeed. And we need to get her back as soon as possible. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Ah, this one is real. Sam, go west. How do you want me to handle Die Hardman? With your customary reserve. Nothing good will come of him learning of our suspicions. Whatever else is going on, we still need the chiral network. All right. Security measures. Five, four, three, two, one. Man, don't tell me, man. Die Hard Man is a traitor in this game. And unfortunately, I still haven't, uh, I still haven't taken care of my BB here. Call him, bud. It's time, Sam. When you're ready, proceed to the shore of the tar belt and begin work on the chiral relay. Once it's ready, use the Cupid to bring it online. The necessary materials are prepped for you. Supplies are limited, so handle them with care. You'll be carrying a lot, too. All things considered, this might be one of your hardest runs to date. Hartman knows more about the site than I do, so he'll take it from here. It's about time for his wake-up call anyway. Administering shock. Stand clear. Right. About that way station. The site we have chosen was an original candidate for the way station we lost to the top belt. Uh, ironically, we suspended construction because we deemed it a little too unstable and not worth the risk. But this time, it's our best shot. So let's hope we weren't right to change horses in midstream. Fortunately for us, the foundation we laid down is still intact. All you have to do is transport the necessary materials to the site and finish the job. I'm afraid it's the only way we can expand the network further west and rescue Armory. We're counting on you, Sam. Alright, uh, so what Diherman said 
is going to be the toughest delivery that I'm going to do. 150 kilograms. Um, this is way too far, man. Hold on, bud. Is there a way that I can uh, go to a private room here? Wait a minute, but let me just fabricate some stuffs here. I need five of this. I got two climbing anchors. Let me have another blood bags. Hold on, but just gotta make sure though. Can we get? Let me just confirm this one first. I'm just out of range. I think we didn't get so far, but um, wait a minute. Got climbing anchors, I think. Let me just confirm this one first, but. So here's what I'm going to do. Let me just double check this uh, boot clip that I have. Damage 76%. Okay. So I think I need to recycle this or just put this one in my private locker too. Where's that stuff? Place it in my private locker and then order another one. What do you think? But I think so. Wait a minute. Here we go. I need two. Power skeleton. Um, not for now, I guess. Let me just confirm this one. They have some extra power skeleton here. This one is 48% damage, so I think I need to order another one. Same with this all terrain skeleton. Holland, but got a lot of things to do in here, man. Let me just uh, face this one. Let me confirm. Power skeleton level 3. Here we go. Let me have one and then same with this all terrain. This one is what level? Oh, level 2. I only need one, man. Let me confirm. I need to equip this. I think we're good now. 